The year is 2007, and after grabbing some snacks, you sit down in order to lose yourself in the world of RuneScape. From selling cow hides in the kingdom of Alcard to scavenging giant bones from hill giants, the game provided an abundance of things to do. It's no secret that the love for old school RuneScape has transcended RPGs and into mainstream culture. But do you know how it made its return in the first place? Today we'll be focusing on one aspect of that answer, Mod Ash one of the game's earliest supporters and developers. Part visionary, part meme, Mod Ash has not only brought back one of the greatest games from our childhood, but also set the standard for developers around the world. Whether it be through his engagement with the community, authenticity, or his quirky behavior, Ash is truly one of the most beloved developers in the world of gaming. Uh, Mod Gambit. Um. Ginger <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. There it is. Look, they know it's lagging! Ah! What's it been a couple months now? Mm -hmm. um. I'm Kem Q, and today we will be breaking down the life and exploits of the man, the myth, and the meme, Mod Ash. While I'm sure Ash's journey started with a computer and a passion for those kinds of fantasy games, the journey we are focusing on today started in 2001 at a humble pub on the outskirts of Cambridge University. While swooning the ladies and socializing with his choir group friends, Ash met Andrew Gower, a man who had recently created a game you might have heard of, RuneScape. After this coincidental meeting, Ash began playing RuneScape and quickly cultivated a true passion and love for the game. He spent most of his time playing and working as a forum moderator, where he would talk openly about where the game was going and what he felt should be improved. In this time, Ash also met his wife on the forums. Call it fate or blind luck, it seemed that Ash's success within the world of RuneScape was destined from the beginning. Shortly after graduating university, Ash began working for Jagex as a member of the customer support team, where he immediately began climbing the ranks, becoming an upload manager within the first year. It was here that Ash would learn the fundamentals of RuneScript and truly set the foundation for the man, the myth, and the meme we know and love today. One of the first projects Ash worked on as a content developer was The Wise Old Man, one of the most frequently recurring and loved characters in RuneScape, influencing various quests and in-game lore. In the game's early days, upon approaching the wise old man in his room, players would find a telescope pointing at the drainer bank across the road. Paul Gower, one of the game's founders, looked at the telescope and questioned why it was aiming at the bank. In response to this, Ash created a backstory around the wizard planning to rob the bank of Draenor, which is now a staple of the game's lore and history. While working on this project, Ash realized that no matter what they do in the game, there must always be a preemptive reason a methodology that helped pave the way for his extreme attention to detail and love for the most minute of in-game mechanics. Ash continually worked on RuneScape throughout the 2000s and was fortunate to experience the golden age of the game's development. The famous year of 2007 saw RuneScape at its peak, with a simplistic game design that gave players everything they wanted, freedom and independence. Unfortunately, due to issues caused from real-world trade, Jagex decided to remove player killing and free trade to offset those looking to exploit the players for profit. Ash struggled to work on the game during these stages, as he knew the players would hate the changes. I wasn't too happy working on this stuff, because I knew players were gonna hate it, and while I was strongly advised that it was necessary for the survival of the studio, and it quite possibly was, given that we were under threat of not being allowed to process card payments anymore. You know, if you're gonna lose half your players for them hating an update, you're gonna lose all your members if you can't take card payments. Unsurprisingly, Jagex faced an onslaught of backlash, which resulted in the steady decline of the game's player base. Over the next five years, Jagex would implement various changes that ultimately led to them changing the game's combat system to help entice a new demographic of players. Original players felt alienated and banded together to petition for an older version of RuneScape to be reinstated. Ash, alongside two other JMods, pushed for the reinstallment of the original RuneScape. But the upper management at Jagex had no faith in the future of RuneScape, a very costly belief that would bite them in the butt for many years in the future, because they were too afraid to invest in the best game they've ever made. Because, as it turns out, RuneScape is a great game. And Ash
Flash knew it. So regardless of receiving an extremely small budget, three Jagex moderators persisted and kickstarted Old School RuneScape in 2013. Ash's passion for the game, attention to detail, and influence on bringing back Old School RuneScape made him an excellent developer and a figurehead for the RuneScape brand. However, what truly propelled him into the heights of fandom we see today can be largely attributed to his engagement with the community, his authenticity, and last but not least, his quirky behavior. Coinciding with his new role that involved working on Old School RuneScape, Ash decided to join Twitter in 2013 as a way of communicating with the fanbase on the particulars of the game and its development. Ash wanted to focus on providing a game experience that players wanted and made it his mission to engage with fans every step of the way, ultimately setting the standard for developers and moderators in the future. From the beginning to this day, if you go to Ash's Twitter account, you can see him interacting with fans in real time. You will find a wealth of information in his replies that can be used in the game, quality banter as well, and alongside that, a few brutal comebacks. Even explicit remarks such as the infamous, RuneScape isn't that type of fantasy game. Ash has expressed that while he genuinely enjoys interacting with the fans, it's also important that as developers, they should remain plugged into the fanbase's opinion rather than rely on information from a data-based report. As of 2022, Ash has published more tweets than the rest of the development team combined, solidifying his position as one of the most engaged developers in the world. Ash has also engaged with the community both in-game and off-game through various mediums such as Reddit and YouTube, congratulating members for reaching a 99 skill level and even participating in YouTube videos. Today, we will be looking into the history of one of the best-known gods in RuneScape, Guthix. Under the pretense of his positive attitude and engagement with the community, Ash faced a great deal of adversity during these times as he and the team were given inadequate resources to develop old school RuneScape. Despite this, he persevered and used his free time to expand and grow the fanbase of old school RuneScape. Because of his determination and community support, the game began with a promising trajectory for success that no one would have ever expected. Him and the rest of the community had faith in the game, even when the upper management did not. The years passed and Ash's notoriety grew with Old School RuneScape's rising success. Fans from all over the world, both old and new, came in droves to enjoy the simplistic nature of the 2007 reiteration. The success of the game warranted a live panel of some of the game's earliest developers discussing their time at Jagex, which was to be broadcasted and uploaded to YouTube. The panel featured a variety of developers such as Ian Gower and Ash to reminisce over the game's history and how far they have come, with the talk show format being used for Q&As regularly thereafter. What made these discussions so unique, however, was the quirky behavior that Ash exhibited. At this point, the fanbase was familiar with Ash through his Twitter account. However, they hadn't seen him on the screen to this degree before. What followed was a variety of strange looks quirky actions, and of course outrageous stunts that made even the fellow members of his team question his sanity. Ash was not only willing to interact with his fanbase through online mediums, but also to be authentic in the camera's spotlight. He wasn't trying to be something he wasn't. In his heart, he was just a big kid who wanted to make and play a game that he truly loved. However, while this helped grow Ash's fandom, it wasn't until the Dead Man Tournament controversy that Ash would become hugely admired by the RuneScape community. Deadman events are massive tournaments that anybody can play in, but only the best player will survive to the very end and win Jagex's prize pool. Ash began working on the programming for the Deadman Mode tournament, which involved 2,000 players duking it out as deadly fog slowly closed in on the encompassing area. During the game, a player named Wooks realized that the fog only dealt 15 damage. He exploited a loophole that allowed him to unnote his food at this NPC and then he would continuously use that food to heal up and not die from the fog. While Wooks was chomping on some delicious food, all of the remaining players began to perish. And through this loophole, he became the last man standing. Jagex ultimately decided to overrule the decision, disqualifying Wooks and giving the winnings to another player. The winner of the $10,000 is Mr. Lololololol. Congratulations, mate. Congratulations to him. Wooks. Interesting strategy that Wooks I, used, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, it was uh, not allowed. Yeah. But... This caused a great deal of controversy with the fans, which was ultimately resolved by, you guessed it, Mod Ash. Ash felt responsible for letting this loophole get in the game and wanted to reward the first place winner accordingly. 
Ash, out of his own pocket, decided to give Wooks $10,000, equivalent to the first place prize. A generous move that demonstrated his passion for his work, and bolstered his existing popularity within the community. At this point, Ash had solidified himself as one of the most popular developers in the world. One only needs to go to YouTube videos or Reddit to see the fandom's opinions, with users making comments as, he is the pure essence of RuneScape. Ash is the biggest legend I've ever laid my eyes on. And Ash is a god amongst men. If Ash is around, it's safe to say you should hide your RuneScape girlfriend, because he won't need to pay the 10k. In 2019, at a Jegex Christmas party, Ash was rightfully acknowledged for his 15th anniversary at Jegex, and was rewarded with a glass medallion trophy, where he tweeted the following statement. 15 year service award from Jagex at tonight's Christmas party. Thanks to everyone in the old school RS and RuneScape communities and teams for making those years so much fun. And, I'm not finished yet. And, Ash wasn't kidding when he said he wasn't finished yet, because as of 2022, Old School RuneScape, the game that began with a small but dedicated team of developers pursuing their passion, now has a more extensive player base than RuneScape 3. To this day, Ash continues to expand the game, with engine improvements, updated content, and better quality of life updates primarily driven by community-based polls. Despite the many setbacks Ash has had throughout his life, he has consistently focused on expanding the game he loves from a player's point of view, which is precisely why he is the most beloved game developer in the world, especially when he decides to act like a menace on interview panels. We've had a calamity. <laughs> tea has <laughs> been lost. You spilled Ash. <laughs> there you have it, the story of how a humble forum moderator with a passion for gaming slowly grew into one of the most beloved developers in the gaming community. Ash's influence has transcended the gaming world and set the standard for how developers should interact with their user base in the future. Thus, whether you realize it or not, Ash has not only improved the world of RuneScape, but the world of gaming as a whole, as the man, the myth, and of course, the meme. But Ash, if you're watching this, I hope you know how treasured you are in the community. You really are the GOAT. But what would make you even more legendary is if you hosted an episode on the community channel. It's a passion project my friends and I started, and the community would love to hear more from you. So please, 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 please reply. Thank you. But either way, we're so glad that Mod Ash is doing what he does best, giving joy to others. So thank you, Mod Ash.